So now I've um, carved uh, the, the outside perimeter all the way around that pattern and uh, I made sure that uh, it was square or perpendicular to the um, bottom edge uh, straight across here. So now we have to take it from here, from the, the top edge down to the second line there. So that's where the slope comes in. So we've got some carving to do. Well, if the grain cooperates, it's not too bad, but where it goes from bottom to top, it's a bunch of work. This is working pretty good right at the moment. You get the idea. Well, I've got most of the carving done. Uh, I've still got to put the socks on the thing yet, but uh, I'm cleaning it up a little bit. Here with some of my uh, favorite files. So this one is uh, fairly fine. It's almond shaped. Uh, there isn't a flat side on it. This is a little little almond and this is steeper and it's just a matter of uh, taking out some of the bumps that we have along the way here just to reduce the amount of sanding that we'll have to do later and I the one good thing about using files is that you can go back to carving after using them, uh, you shouldn't go back to uh, carving after using sandpaper on anything because the grit gets down in the wood and will dull your chisels. Well, now that I got the basic shape carved, um, I'm going to add what they call socks or accents to the uh, front of it here. So this is going to be a convex these two here are convex and um, really there's nothing that has changes here and here and the the lines are just drawn on here uh, arbitrary uh, I tried to make them as equal as possible and um, so we're gonna put a V groove in here and then round it over Well, I used uh, my V chisel here. I even have a backbent V chisel, which uh, helps out when you uh, get up in this area here with a regular straight V chisel. Kind of craps out right, right about there. So I have two spoon bent or back bent um, V chisels here that help out with this. You can do it with a straight chisel there. So then now, the, I'm carving, trying to curve this over, and you can do it with the flat chisel again, but a, a, um, here's a three. And so you could work up in here with it, but about the time you get to here, it doesn't work too well anymore. Um, so I happen to own a few back bent Gate, uh, gouges and that allows me to <laughs> this these come in handy when you're carving a Newport shell and uh, that's when I bought them and uh, so anytime you got a reverse curve like this they come in real handy so we're gonna we're gonna deepen this a little bit as we go stay away from this bark inclusion as best we can and uh, get that rounded over.
Well, this one is about done. It needs to be cleaned up yet, um, but it's, uh, it's carved. So um, we did the ugly one first, and we knew that bar conclusion to be there. This is a rear foot on the uh, left side in the rear, but the rest uh, came out pretty good. We got our stockings on there, and uh, the um, pattern is, is good. There's also another small bar conclusion up there. So otherwise, uh, the um, pattern on the knee is, is real nice, but uh, definitely a rear foot.